holy moly you guys we're at video number three and i'm super excited because it's all about the lips okay so when i got this pr box in i screamed i'm not even joking i don't usually scream I don't usually get that excited, but I got excited about this. Now, I'm a huge fan of this brand because <sighs> it got stuck in my hair just now. Maybe I'm not going to be as much of a fan. So, I'm a huge fan of this brand because they are all about inclusivity, diversity. It's just, it's one of those brands that just does everything right and just makes me feel happy about using it and stuff inside my soul. Um, so, I love their, I already loved their shadows. That's really only the thing that I've ever got to try. I think I tried concealer sticks once. I know uh, I like the formula, but I don't remember it enough to be like to give more information about it. I just know that I tried their eyeshadows, was in love. This eyeshadow I'm wearing right now is from Juvia's Place. So when I got this box in the mail with the lips, I was over the moon. I want to show you guys. I have three products out of the box right now, so you'll pretty much see everything except for those three products. But I'm like, yes! Yes, look at this, you guys. There's so much diversity going on in this box. When they said the nudes, they meant all the nudes. Like, send us the nudes. The nudes are marching in. Lots of nudes. <laughs> so, um, what I love about this box is that whether you're trying to match your perfect skin tone or just match your lips or you're doing the crazy, like, match your nipples to your lips thing, you can do it with us. And regardless of skin tone, you can do it. So we're gonna swatch these up. My lips are ready for it. They're super hydrated right now, so we're ready to get these nice and swatchy. But before I do that, I do wanna talk about the lipstick that I'm wearing, because if you're watching this video, maybe you're watching it because you came here for part one or two of my video about this whole look, which included a pre-skincare routine. There'll be a link below if you'd like to check that out. It includes all my favorite skincare products that I use underneath this makeup to give you a more flawless look. Or maybe you saw this video is a preview in my makeup video, my color cosmetics um, video, where I talk about the eyeshadow and the face products and just how to get a look like this, how to do this with the whole tutorial. So maybe you got referred through there, or maybe you were just looking for a review on these lipsticks. Either way, I'm so glad to have you here, and we're gonna we're gonna run through it. So I did want to tell you what, what combination of lip products I am wearing, and that is I'm wearing the shade Lady, and this is the velvet velvety matte lipstick. So it's in a tube. There we go. We got it center. It's a regular tube lipstick. I really, I said this on Instagram, I love that it's a square design because when I have like tubular designs, like tubular, I feel like I'm 80s when I said that, uh, like a MAC tube, I always felt like I try to store it upside down to see the name and it would always like tip over really hard to store. Whereas this, it's like no matter how you store it, up, down sideways it stores and i love that the bottom of the lipstick it features the name of the shade but it also has like a little color on here that's very similar to the color of the lipstick so it makes it very easy to find <laughs> so i like that the lipsticks themselves have a really gorgeous like vanilla scent too love that smell it's not too overpowering like when you put it on your lips it doesn't stay forever but you definitely smell as you're applying so i use the shade lady that's right here. We're gonna re-swatch that too. I just wanted to show it to you guys. And I also paired it with the Lux liner, and this is in Sweet Nothing. This liner really complemented that one well, and I topped it with a gloss. I'm not a gloss girl, but this Juvia's Place had made me a believer in doing the nude liner lipstick and gloss, which is not something I usually wear. I'm usually like a purple lipstick, like dark lipstick, bold lipstick. I'm usually like a bolder kind of girl, but this made me a believer. And uh, this is the It's Electric lip gloss, and it comes in this kind of packaging. So you can see it. But we're gonna go through everything because that's the lip, that's the lip recipe I did here today. So we're gonna start with, we're gonna go from the peaches because they're categorized in peaches, mauves, and chocolates. We're gonna run through all of them. We're also gonna be swatching the liners. We have two different kind of glosses. We have the glass gloss, which is more sheer, which is the It's Electric that I'm wearing. It has a little bit of glitter. And then we're gonna be going to the Lip Reflect gloss, which is a more colored lip gloss that you can either wear on its own or you can wear with a liner. You can wear it over the lipstick. I love that everything is really lightweight, so they're perfect for layering. And they're also not sticky, so you can wear them on their own. And um, these glosses down here, these, uh, Lip Perfect glosses are very, they're long wearing. Like I got at least four hours when I put it on. I do wear it over a liner, so I would suggest doing that. 
but I feel like even without a liner, you could at least get two hours. So for glosses, that's pretty good. And they definitely, no sticky, no on my no strings, nothing. I didn't see any bleeding or feathering. So we're gonna get this all swatched up, and I'm so excited. Okay, so we're gonna start these swatches with the four chocolate shades. We're gonna go from lightest to darkest in the chocolates, and we're gonna follow up with the mauves and then the peaches. So the first shade, in the chocolates is ladies. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see clearer on my lips. As you see, I have pretty mauve lips naturally, which is why a lot of the mauve and chocolate shades really work well on me. Um, the first shade we're gonna start with is lady. I love how pigmented they are with one swipe. Now this shade, even though it's listed as part of the chocolate nudes, I feel really works well on my skin tone. I am Native American, so maybe my because my undertones are more neutral, this works well for me. I feel like this will work well for a lot of different skin tones. So next up we have Muted, and this is a medium tone, kind of gray tone nude, and it's again part of the chocolate. This is my first time wearing this one. Ooh, I love this one on my skin tone. And it's so creamy, like, mm, it just sits really well on the lips. So the next one is called Toffee. It's really nice, like, chocolatey brown. This is another really, really gorgeous shade. Perfect for fall, I think. Like, again, if you're by your skin tone, I feel like this would look really good for fall. Now, this next shade, if you follow me on Instagram, at Recycled Stardust, you will see that I already swatched this one up and I love it already. This is called Chocolate. I'm sorry, this is called Cocoa, and it's part of the Nude Chocolates. Now, this I love. I know it's the darkest shade in this range. I know I'm not the darkest person. However, I love wearing those deep chocolatey shades. I feel like they really complement my native features. You see that? One swipe, fully pigmented. I don't even apply it correctly, that's fine. But I just want to show you guys that in one swipe, I'm just correcting it, because that was like all oh, wiggly wobbly. Then in one swipe, you're getting full pigmentation. They really live up to their name. They're called velvety matte lipsticks, and they literally feel like velvet matte, and they have that liquid lipstick look, like they have that full matte liquid lipstick look, but they are so much more hydrating. I personally like to pair this one with Scorpio, and you'll see uh, the liners soon after we finish the lipstick. So this next shade is 2020, and this is the shade that's nearly identical to my lips. So as you can see, it almost looks like I'm not loving because my lips, like, I have no upper lip. I got like, I got like, native lips, very thin native lips. So as you can see, it's very much my color. I almost don't even look like I'm wearing a lipstick. But, um, so the next shade is called Chic, and it's right in the middle of the mauves. These are the nude mauves. I haven't tested this one out yet, so I'm really excited to see how this looks on me. This is another shade that's just really close to my natural lip shade. Really pretty. Now this next shade is called Mauve Moment. It's also one of the middle shades. There's two middle shades in each because each one's like four. But if you guys look really closely, I don't know if my camera's picking up the tone, but just like we had the gray shade in the chocolates, we have the gray mauve shade here, and this is a mauve moment. It's a very much grayed mauve. It's got leaning a little bit more blue, a little more cool toned. It's funny how much lighter this shade looks on my skin tone than Chic. Even though they're pretty much like in the same like family of shade, one being more pinky looks darker and one being more blue looks so much lighter on my skin tone. So the last one of the mauves is the darkest mauve and this one is called Kebi? K-E-B-I. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I tried. This is the darkest one. On me, it almost, ooh, I really messed up that application there. 
on me it almost leans like a little mauvey brown on a medium skin tone it might look more just mauve on you guys but for me it definitely leans like a little bit wine a little bit brown a little bit um a little bit less mauvey looking on myself so now we're starting the peaches this is the last set of four I'm gonna warn you guys, I don't think these are all gonna look too flattering on me. I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm crossing my fingers that they do. I'm just, lighter shades tend to not work on me, so I'm really scared. <laughs> so this shade is called Mademoiselle. Oh boy, I, I did try this one on in my stories on Instagram, so you guys might have seen this one already. Ugh, I do not like it on myself. Like for this shade, I don't like this on me at all. I think if you're trying to go for a lighter shade and you're a darker skin tone, maybe it'll work on you. I know that this worked really well when I paired it with a liner, but just against my personal skin tone, I was like, this is not the shade for me, but still a great formula. And I know it will definitely work on somebody. There's somebody out there that's either fairer than me or darker than me that this shade will look fab on. And this shade is called Mademoiselle. Next up we have In Vogue. And this is right in the middle of the peaches. Ugh. I feel like I pulled this off a little bit better, but it is pulling orange. Just for reference, you guys, I'm about the most typical light medium ever. So if I go into a drugstore and I see that there's something called light medium or beige, that's me. So for skin reference, um, in Wonder Beauty, I'm light medium. In MAC, I think of NC33, so you can get an idea of how this would look on you if you're similar to my skin tone. But I feel like this shade pulls very orange on me. Somebody more medium skin tone, again, probably would look absolutely stunning on. Next one is called Libra. I am a Libra, so I'm hoping that this looks so good on me. I'm really excited. This is, again, this is in a grayish family. If, if you notice with all of the four sets, they have a cool tone, warm tone, neutral, and a gray tone in all of them. So I'm really excited to try this one. This is the Grage of the Beaches. Oh, see that's so much better. Look at that. That's close to my natural skin tone too. I think if I was a nude, like a true peachy nude, given my skin color, this would be my true peach nude. It doesn't lean too much orange. It doesn't lean too much pink. It doesn't wash me out. Libra is my girl, is my go-to. I like this one a lot. Mm. I just got makeup remover in my mouth. You never want to get makeup remover in your mouth, that's all I'm gonna say. So the last shade is called Simply Me. I thought it would be the best shade to end on. And um, this is the darkest of the peachy shades. And I'm really excited to try this one. So this is another shade that's gonna work really well for your light, for you girls that are light medium. And when I look at the pictures, by the way, because each one of the packaging, I didn't really get to show you this, each one of the packaging shows a dark skinned woman. Let me see if I can zoom in. Well, actually, it shows all the skins. Let me see if I can zoom in. So these are the peachy ones. You see dark skin, medium skin, or light, oh, I'm sorry. Let's start again. Dark, medium, light. So you can kind of see what the peaches would look like, and you see that they look differently on different skin tones. So this is the mauves. You can see the differences on the different skin tones. The last one would be, let's show Coco. So you can see, well, it looks differently on everybody, even on the box itself. Now, I wanna get to the liners, because I feel like liners make a huge difference, and I'm gonna leave this lipstick on for a reference point. So for the liners, there are six shades all together. They have this really cute hot pink packaging. These are called the Lux liners. There are two per set, and what I mean by that is there's two mauvey shades, two peachy shades, and two chocolate shades. For each one of these, we have a cool tone and a warm tone. I think that's genius because having just one would obviously put the other type of skin tone or um, undertone left out. So I'm gonna show you guys these on my hand. We're gonna start with the liner in Love Me. This is one of the mauve shades. And it leans a little bit pink 
So if you're wearing one of the lipsticks and you want it to lean a little more pink, you can do Love Me or you can make it matchy matchy. This would work really well with Chic and Love Moment. And also 2020. The next one is Lush. I actually paired Lush with 2020 and I really liked how it looked. This is the cool tone one, so it has a little bit more of a purple. We're gonna zoom in a little bit on that so you can see it. So you can see this one here, which is um, Lush, has a little bit of a purple tone, whereas Love Me has a little bit more of a pink tone. So, you so your next two shades, these are in the peachy category, but they work really well with the chocolates as well. So my favorite is the Luxe Liner and Sweet Nothing. I paired that with Lady, which is a chocolate. But you can pair this with Mademoiselle, Info, Libra, Me. You can also pair the other, the other two Mommy Liners with those as well. They all match really nicely. Now Sweet Nothing is my favorite because I like to pair it with Lady. Now that's Lady and Sweet Nothing. I think they go really well together. The next one in the peaches is So Babe. Now this one is a much darker shade. This is why I say it can go really well no matter what direction you take it. I would say stick with the chocolates and also the peaches with this one. Now the last two are the chocolate liners. They're not actually broken up like that, but I feel like they pair what best with the chocolate one. Now Scorpio is my favorite, and I actually wore it with, actually wore it with Coco. It really reminds me of Night Moth by MAC, where it's got that little bit of a red tone to it. And this is Coco right here. And I feel like they went really, really well together. They really complement each other. The last one is Cola. And this has a little bit more of a chocolate brown to it. Would go great with toffee. Let me see if I can. Oh, okay, it was right here. So I think, oops, that went right into the other lipstick. There we go. So those are my suggestions for pairing with the liners. They were fabulous on their own. They were fabulous under the lipstick. They look really great to deepen the lipsticks if that's what you want to do and they work really well with the glosses. I'm about to show you the glosses, so I wanna leave these on my hand. We have the Lip Reflex glosses. We're gonna get these on the lips, and I'm also gonna show you them over some of the lipsticks on my hand. So this first gloss is called Barely There. It's a very, very light gloss. So if I was personally wearing this, I'd put a liner under it. I feel like it's a bit too light for my skin tone. Just for me personally, I feel like it's a little bit too light. I think that if you're using it over a lipstick, it would look a little bit better if you're light skin tone. So for example, we have the we have the more peachy tones here. And when you apply it over, you can lighten it just if you apply it to like the middle of your lip. Definitely gives it like a nice glossy look without looking too light. This next one is called Kiss Me. I actually really, really like this one. Show you guys this one. Now, the doe foot applicator is rather large for my very small lips, and I feel like I get a little messy. When I was applying it for Instagram, I actually swirled it onto my back of my hand and then applied it with my finger, but because my hand is covered in swatches, I'm just applying directly. So if it looks like it's a little sloppy on me, I would typically suggest you use a lip brush or you apply it the back of your hand if, you're, if you have smaller lips like me. So I feel like in terms of lip gloss, this really matches my natural lip tone. But again, this is one of those shades, this is in the Wah family, it will look lighter or darker depending on your skin tone. I really liked putting it over the mauve tones, especially the mauve liners. This next one is called Sis. This was my favorite. I actually featured this on Instagram when I did my swatches. Here's my Instagram picture here. It's right here. I really, I loved this look so much that it made me a believer of the liner lip gloss look. I actually paired this one with Lush lip liner, so I actually paired these two together, and I thought the look was absolutely gorgeous. Like, I was a huge, huge fan of this. So of all the glosses, this one is my favorite, just because it's smack dab like in the middle. It's a little bit darker than my natural skin tone, and I just feel like it really adds like a really beautiful gloss to my lips. Lastly, this shade is called Caramel Rose. This would be great for topping over the darker shades like toffee and cocoa. Now I wanna show you it actually topped over cocoa. So you can see what I mean. See, it lightens it up just a little bit. Apply this just lightly to the middle of the lips. Get that nice glossy look on. But I love this one too. It's very, it's like a 90s brown on my skin tone. I'm here for that 90s look, that retro look. 
darker skin tones, it might actually be like the color of your lips, so you can just get that like glossed look to your lips. Like your lips look better, but my lips are a little too light for that. But overall, I love it. I think this is a great range. I would have liked to see more lips, lip glosses. I think that's my only complaint, is that they're so good. I wish I would have had a larger range, kind of like the lipsticks. Please do this, please please make more because these are amazing. It's really rare for me to be uh, this hype about a gloss. So the fact that I'm asking for more, like trust me, it's coming from a place of pure love and honesty. So the last product is the Glass Gloss. And this I like to top and they're all pretty sheer. As you can see, there's only three of them, they're very sheer. Um, the Glass Gloss in um, its glass is obviously just that. It's a very clear gloss, completely clear. just helps you accent your already nude lips. I, and I'm here for that, I'm here for a very nude, natural look. You'll see this one featured in my very natural look that I have coming up, but I wanted to get this watch for you so you can see exactly how hyper gloss it is. It literally looks like glass on the lips. It's a beautiful, beautiful gloss. So the next one is, it's electric. This was my favorite because it has like a gold glittery gloss in it. And when I did my lip look in the swatches on Instagram, this is the one I used. And in my makeup look that I have here today, this was the one I used. This one is going to go so quickly. And it's the same thing as it's glass, but it definitely has a little bit more of those reflection in it. So the gold isn't super obvious, but you can definitely see the difference between it's glass and it's electric. So the last product is the So Glazed, and this is the pink shimmery version of the gloss. It's got like a pinky purple golden reflection. Oh my god, do you see that? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and the light's picking it up too. Oh, I love it so much. Oh my goodness. Ah, like I was like electric is my favorite, but now that I swatched this one up, I take that back. This one is gorgeous. So that's it. That's the entire nudes collection by Julia. I really hope just like the eyeshadow palettes, I've got the nude one here because I'm actually wearing it. I hope just like the eyeshadow palettes, we see a lot more of these. I would love to see some purple shades, some red shades. I would love to see so many more shades in these formulas. I'm a huge, huge fan. I think this line is really, really inclusive for all different skin tones. You know, a lot of brands are focusing on foundations and concealers, but you know, lip tones are uh, very important too. Cool tone, warm tone, neutral tones. Like people don't think about that all the time when they're shopping for lipsticks. And Julia's Place it is. So if you guys liked these products, you could check my info section below. There'll be a link to purchase these. Um, I did receive this as PR, so this was a PR gift. Thank you so much, Julia's Place, for sending me this. I was so excited to try this. I didn't know, I didn't think I would be as in love with this as I am. Like, I was so happy to see it, but I was also a little bit skeptical, and this just wowed me in every way I could be wowed. Um, if you guys aren't already and you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, leave me some comments, let me know which one of these shades is your favorite shade, are you picking up any from the collection, or are you passing on it entirely? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're on Instagram, why are you not following me yet? Head over to Recycled Stardust where I post beauty, skincare, a little bit of fitness and lifestyle, uh, or head over to Fabulously Stardust and follow me for my fashion posts. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.